Welcome back to Let's Play The Consequence, Burning Dog fans. Uh, we're here in the Halls of Meat, as you can see, and, uh... We're not having a good time. Just checking. Maybe there are fucking bear traps or something, I don't know. I guess the reason we haven't really seen any of those traps is, uh... Well, one, this area is less influenced by Ruvik than most. Since apparently it is hard for him to see her. And, uh, two... I don't like that. Uh, two... Well, we have regenerating health, so the little fiddly uh, damage attacks don't really matter. Oh. Uh, hey there. How is it going? There's a shiny object on that table. Eh. Fucking A, they don't even blink. Well, I mean, they're blinking, but they didn't blink because I hit it in the eyeball with a chem light. What have you done to Ruben? Show me! Keep your emotions out of this, Jimenez. He brought this upon himself. We gave him a chance. Where is he? If you really wish to know, he's in the next room. Come, see. Huh. It's a flashlight. Okay, I guess that meant it's upgrading, not you tap up to toggle between them. Oh, I have missed having a flashlight in my hands. We're gonna be the best of friends. Fare thee well, Chemlight. That's much better. I heard that. There's a snail in here somewhere. You've unlocked a new model. You can view it in the model viewer from the Consequence title menu. That appears to be the shade, but I don't know if that's just a generic uh, image to represent the, uh, the model viewer. Or if... Uh, I don't know. Or if I really did get the one for the shade. I get that the name is meant to be ironic, but that's, you can't get over how bad it is. It really is backwards, you know? Oh, good. You think, I thought it was interesting in that cutscene there. They made Jimenez sound, like, regretful, worried. But in the one we saw in the main game... It seemed like he, you know, we did, before we even knew about Mobius, it seemed like he, uh, he was the one who orchestrated uh, what happened to uh, Reuben. Maybe that's the way Reuben remembers it. His friend betrayed him and all that. There are no numbers on this. Oh, that's not an interactive thing, it's just doing that for some reason. It's a really obnoxious screensaver. Is this dials? No? No smears of blood. Uh... You're not a door. I knew that. Shut up. Um... I haven't had to leave one of these behind yet. Fine, I will just fuck around with it. The 
the blood stains. I need to make the blood stains line up. This one doesn't quite work. I'll try that. Exactly line up. If I could reverse this one, it would fit better. Let's go for the horrific reveal right now. So if Kidman didn't know about any of this, whose mind is influencing it? to see what it is before I actually activate it. Alright, we've got digestive system. Heart. Lungs, which are not pumping. Oh no. I feel like the digestive system is really not necessary to run the stem, but whatever. What the fuck do I know? I know not of STEM. Okay, well, I've never seen one of four levels, and I don't see one here now! Maybe it's this thing. This is despicable! What is this monstrosity? Despicable? Coming from the man using his own patience to further his own research? The irony of this situation is amusing. But even you must realize what we can do with this. This means... STEM will run. We can continue the experiments. And your assistance... is even more necessary than before. This whole project... From the beginning it was about deceit. The brain is gone. Oh, I guess these were just containers to store the organs in case they needed them before they moved uh, Rubik's brain into the stem machine. I wonder what was in this one. I don't see anything gross on the floor. This time. Four rows. Okay, fine. Oh. Shit, this could line up in a number of ways. Okay. I'm gonna assume it's this, like this. Two, four, one, two, three... Three and four, one and four. Missed. A. Hey. 
The door opens up and there's a breakdancing uh, Leon S. Kennedy inside. I saw what they have done to him, and I am appalled. To think the young boy I mentored is now this. A mass of gray matter in a glorified test tube. Could they have been planning this all along? And what have I become in all of this? They've managed to keep his mind alive by simulating an artificial body. His consciousness is being confined to a mental straitjacket, a gear in their infernal machine. They have even stricken his name in humanity, referring to him by an anagram, Ruvik. A crude joke, as if spitting on his grave. I almost felt the urge to smash the case and end it right there. But my anger was quickly replaced by scientific curiosity. Reuben's legacy will live on. I will spearhead the next step. I will create something of my own out of this tragedy. Not to, you know, poke at the guy in his time of grief, but, uh... It's not an anagram. It's just a short form. An anagram is a new mix-up. What you see here is one of the first stem prototypes. It requires a physical connection from user to host. But Beacon houses a newer version with a wireless transmitter. All the user hears is a high-pitched tone, and they're connected. Oh. We've gotten word Jimenez is prepping for unauthorized usage. We would like the trial run to be on our terms, not his. That sound in the patrol car must have been when Jimenez activated it. Joseph, Sebastian, Oscar, they were all pulled in with me. The stem and beacon, that's where it all started. There must be a way to get out of this world from there. Does that mean the car we were in just crashed or what? An anagram is when you uh, take the letters and something and rearrange them to form something else. Like, uh... What was the one from Harry Potter? It's just a story spoiler, so I won't be reading that one. Oh! Why does it sound like a subway? Not a brain, that's a lighthouse beacon. Great. You see what they did there? Not in love with it. Might have been there before, but I didn't notice it when I was Sebastian. Alright, I'm gonna look at each of these tubs just to be on the safe side. Fine. There are some things here that are to remain in the dark. Especially for you, kid. You're asking too many questions, ignoring your mission. Running from responsibility. Just like you always do. No, that's not true. You don't know me. That much is obvious. But we need to make sure you do what you're told. You're lying to me. Hiding things. I can't trust you. Not like this. You are not required to trust us. Only to obey. Well, shit. That was heavy.
Isn't that nice? Good kitty. I don't look behind the couch. I never look behind the couch. I cannot go behind the couch, but that's okay. Kind of wish I could throw a cam light into this hallway and make it bright uh, right at a certain spot. Oh no, that's a fluorescent light. I'm... Yeah, the hallway is now upside down. Okay, this is happening. I don't know why this is happening. That's the room from the main menu where I started a new game. Ooh. Weird blur effect there. When I move sideways. Shit, I thought I saw something moving down there. Mentioning water running up my pant leg is really unpleasant, so let's just get out of here. Fine, we'll climb up into the abyss. Well, someone got fancy here. This is very stylish. Oh no, let's not do that. You were assigned to your team for a reason. Castellanos, Oda, they know nothing. But they're searching for answers. Searching for us, you mean? One of us. But this may be our chance to remove them. Having all of you in one place will provide us with opportunities. And the part where I hacked, uh, Joseph to bits earlier? I totally thought that was going to lead to, uh, a sequence where... Where, uh, Kidman drags, uh, Joseph into one of those tanks and leaves him there for Sebastian to find. As if that would heal him somehow. Crimson City Police Department. Listen, a police department. Why am I here? Well, at least they're not the same fucking light this time. No. Oh. Never anything fun in the DLC ones. I mean, that one that dispensed the horrible baby monsters, I'm not fond of that, but... I looked those up, by the way. I think those are literally just called The Babies. That's the name of the enemy, and, uh... Oh. Missing. Have you seen this woman? And then it's all blurry. Missing. Pedro Martin and Marta Martin. I wonder where they get names. I don't think any of the posters in the main game, well, at least the ones I collected, had uh, two people on them. So I don't think that's just a reused asset. Oh, it's an interrogation room. Can I collect that? No. What the hell? Uh, it's the landscape of Mars out there. 
You're a loose cannon, Kidman. Come on, really? Man, that's clearly a landline phone, but it isn't plugged into anything. Whammo! And I must have walked past the door I didn't notice. I did! I wonder if I could find a change of clothes. They're saying Fernando Cabrera. No name, but that does appear to be young John Hurt. Missing Christopher Taylor, I don't know that one. Amelia White? Lost dog, $20 reward. That appears to be two different dogs. Zorro and Chance? Choice? Chase? Pedro Martin and Marta again. Fernando Carrera might be uh, reused, but I don't know about these other ones. I think I saw that guy as a fat zombie in the main game. Oh, his name is actually erased. Interesting. I thought it was just a blurry texture. Beacon logo on that one. That umbrella. Eh, I better leave it. Everything gets ruined around here. Oh! I need to find a checkpoint. Okay. Chinese lantern. That was dumb. Niagara Falls, 2005. Good times. How's Lily doing? Great. Everything's going fine. Just wish my wife would be home more to take care of her. She barely took maternity leave, huh? One of Crimson's finest, I suppose. She's a great cop in her own right but we can manage without her for a little longer. You should hope she doesn't hear you say that, or you'll be out in your ass, Joseph. This looks like it's way before I got here. Everyone's so much younger, but Sebastian's profile didn't say he was married, let alone a child. Oh, you don't know. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Oh, look at that, it's October 2005. That is nine years before the main game came out. Look at the simple models on those cars. I'm not bashing it, it's just something that's, you know, it's barely in your view at all in this game. I just find it kind of adorable for some reason. Seriously, good. Find a bathroom and clean yourself up. Oh. Wait, there's only one dial. Urine. Dollars to donuts, it has something to do with that weird TV that shouldn't be there. No? It's not gonna pop up and show me a number? Okay, we, uh. 
got a checkpoint when we got to the police department, so I'm just gonna get out of this and listen to those uh, things I found. Oh, and there was a model too, since we are running way over time now. Motivated, obsessed. Not exactly a beat you can dance to. Personal tragedy. That's what I was playing now. In the police station. Of course, I did just find that, didn't I? Huh, I thought I found one, another one before that. Whatever. Ah! I was right! Shade. Shade is tall, flexible, and suggestive. Another of Ruvik's pawns, she is a physical manifestation of his search for a new body. Like Kidman, she searches for Leslie, and her light has the ability to reveal memories and locations buried within the minds of people connected to Stem. I like that the blood beneath her forms that symbol she's always shining her light on. Huh. I guess that makes sense. I still don't understand why she has, uh... Dancer legs, but you know, Ruvik is kind of a fucked up guy. <laughs> uh... So yeah, I guess that'll do it for, uh, this episode of Let's Play The Consequence, the DLC chapter for The Evil Within. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time. Later!